Good evening, I'm Adam Scott. Welcome to Terrian News. Chaos has erupted in a home at the inner suburbs of Melbourne. James Scott found fame at a young age when scientists were able to definitely prove that he is a human. Since then, he had has had a huge following of people who one day hope to follow in his footsteps. On the occasion of his 15th birthday, the, the fans known as the James Maniacs flocked from all over the country to show their support. The crowding around this house was so intense that many people have been trampled and four people have been hospitalized. Yeah, I got here at about five in the morning. Now there's probably like five other people here. But then, um, but then uh, about two hours later, there was like 200 people here. So like, you know, I'm a more dedicated fan, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so I was like, I was sitting uh, outside the window and I saw some movement and I sort of walked up to it to see if I could see anything and then I sort of looked behind me and there were like 200 other people trying to look in the window and there were probably like 10 people on my back and I like fell down and um, so that's sort of that's sort of how I you know hurt, hurt my head yeah but uh, you know I'm still here because you know, I've got to show the support. So, uh, yeah, happy birthday, James. Unfortunately, for these fans, efforts may be in vain because this is not James's house. Oh, yeah, so I woke up this morning and I went to check the mailbox to see if my cheese and wine magazine had come yet. When I saw all these people, I, I bloody well near fainted. Uh, <laughs> I don't think my boss is going to believe me when I, when I tell him why I can't come in today. In other news, Maroondah Council has commissioned a st statue in honour of local tennis legend James Scott, renowned for his ability to reach over the net. The statue was set to be a bronze monolith with three times the height of the player himself. However, the, pro the young pro prodigy may never get to his recognition thanks to, local, thanks to a logistical mix-up at, up at the council offices. I had it on my desk. I swear I had it on my desk, like... 20 minutes ago, but then, um, and then I, and then I went to get lunch, and then I, did I talk to, and then I talked to Susan, and then, uh, I, I don't know, yeah, it must have, I must have put it somewhere stupid, and I, and now I don't know where it is, look, I had it, I had this box to, to put the, to put it in, but now, um, yeah, now I don't know where I put it. No, no, it wasn't stolen. It couldn't have been stolen because, like, who would want it? Police have managed to foil an alleged birthday bash plot by two brothers with a grudge. The conspirators' target was a young Melbourneian, James Scott a long-time sufferer of chronic reading syndrome. The authorities discovered the plot when, th when neighbours reported seeing two men pushing an anti-aircraft gun down the street. The gun had been reported stolen from the local RSL two days earlier. The brothers only... S s statement to statement to press 
to the press was, it was just a prank, bro. Now for a lighter story. For the first time in his life, James Scott has managed to poke a he his head above the crowd and has become the holder of the world record for the shortest person ever to turn 15. We always knew he was destined for great things, but mm. you know, I don't think we ever thought he would achieve this by his 15th birthday. Well, and, and you know what, there's, there's a lot of competition out there, mm. um, mm. you know, and, and for him to um, not reach these heights was, was pretty incredible. Mm. Yeah, it's quite amazing really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And We're so proud. Oh, absolutely proud, you know, couldn't have been prouder mm. um, for him to get there, you know, or not get there. Um, you know, really, um, yeah. at this age. Yeah. Mm. I'm Adam Scott. This is Terry News. This is, that's all the news for today. Good night. Mm.